Hello, everyone, and welcome to Consciousness is Sexy. I am your host, Patty Alfonso, and the topic for today is Are you choosing the greatness of you? Now, I was pondering this topic a little bit earlier today, and the sense that I got, um, and one of the things that popped up was that there is nothing sexier than a man or a woman who is fully embodied, fully confident, and who knows that they are the gift that they themselves has been asking for. I'm just gonna let that sit for a second. <laughs> a fully embodied man or woman who knows that they are the gift that they've been asking for. Now, one of the coolest things that I have come to know and to realize through my work with the tools of access consciousness is that you have a choice to create yourself new every single day. You have a choice to create yourself in every 10 seconds, in every moment, with every single choice that you have. And so with that, are you choosing in every 10 seconds to be the greatness that you truly be? Are you choosing to allow yourself to acknowledge the magic and the miracle that you are in every single moment? Now, I wanted to share with you guys three tools um, in this show that, you know, I scoured. I scoured my toolbox to, and I picked the three tools that I thought were the ones that have contributed to me in choosing the greatness of me in every single day. And I play with these tools with my clients and in my classes, and trust me, they work and they are amazing. So I wanted to share them with you guys today. Number one, <clears throat> and this is major, not always the easiest thing to do, absolutely possible, but one of the greatest things that you can do for you is to let go of your stories. All of those stories that we hold on to, that we think define us, that we think make us who we are, um, all of the stories, the he saids and the she saids, and they did this and they did that, and my family this, and they don't understand me, any stories that you are allowing to slow you down, that you are allowing to control you, just let them go. And listen, I know, I'm, I, I think I'm making it sound, you know, <laughs> really um, easy, and it can be, but it is a choice to let go of those stories. Choice creates. Um, every 10 seconds, you can choose a new, you know, I was, I was working with a client recently and she is older, you know, she's in her seventies and, um, she is really frustrated with her life. At, at this stage of her life. She's, you know, obviously been there and done many things. And now she's kind of looking for some reason at the end of her life and thinking that she didn't do enough and that everything that she contributed and everything that she created in her life wasn't enough. And she's really looking at like, what else can I create now? And this is a woman who's 77 years old. Like, how does it get better than that? She's still in that space of creation and wanting to contribute to the world. And so what was going on though, was that she was, be, she was sad that her time on this earth was closely coming to an end and that she hadn't created what she wanted, what other things she wanted to create. And what was going on was that she was using that story to fuel the fire of the sadness, to fuel the fire of the disappointment, to fuel the fire of the doubt. Um, and, and I was taking her through a process of, you know, okay, so you know you want to create more in your life. How does it get better? But what is stopping you? And then she would go into the story of how sad she was and how depressed that made her, that, that her life was coming to an end soon. And there was just this, this circle, this vicious circle that just snowballed into a complete total lack of creation, 
total lack of acknowledging the life that she has created and the possibilities that are still available. It literally just took her into this rabbit hole of depression and disappointment. And from that space, she wasn't acknowledging the greatness of her. She wasn't allowing herself to create something different, to create something new. And so I was inviting her to notice that energy that came up, that sadness, and notice that the second that she attached a story to that sadness and bought into that sadness as real, then that is what actually snowballed her into all of these other emotions <clears throat> excuse me, of disappointment and sadness and worry and doubt. Just that, that first moment. And that is what I like to call this space where it's kind of like a choice point. You know, you become aware of a particular energy or an emotion and you, you become aware that that snowballs you into something totally insane that doesn't actually create anything for your life. But you have a choice in that moment to look at that energy and say, okay, I have a choice here. I could either go down the rabbit hole or I could choose something different. What else is possible here that I haven't even imagined? And if I didn't buy all of those stories as real, and if I didn't buy all of the trauma drama, what else would be available in this very moment? In that moment, you get to choose something different. You get to choose to either go into the depressed, sad, you know, victim, whatever that is for you, story, rabbit hole of despair, or you can choose to acknowledge the greatness of you. You can choose to acknowledge everything that you have created and look at what it is that you want to create into the future and choose something different and then take action on those different choices that you are wanting to make. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the chat and let me know. I'm gonna go on to the second tool that I wanna share with you. The, oh my God. Okay, this one is even better than the last one. <laughs> okay, one of my favorite things um, to play with, with the tools of access consciousness, is the tool of allowance. What is that? What is it really to be in allowance? To be in allowance of yourself, to be in allowance of the people around you, to be in allowance of all of the choices that you've made, to be in allowance of the choices that other people are making. So let's play with this a little bit. What is that allowance? Allowance is when you are interesting point of view about everything, everything. When you are in allowance, everything that is around you, that is happening around you, it just simply goes through you and keeps going on its merry way. And you get to be that rock in the stream that isn't knocked off by anything, that isn't carried away by, by any energy. This is also a tool that you can add to the first tool of not buying the story. If you were just in allowance of the stories that you have created, the things that you have created in your life, like, oh, okay, well, that was an interesting choice that I made that choice, or wow, this is an interesting energy that's coming up, then you don't get swept away by that energy. Now, allowance is neither resisting nor reacting nor agreeing to anything. Allowance is really interesting point of view. So what does it look like when you resist something? Um, let's take my client as an example. Thank you, dear, for being the example for this show. <laughs> um, so the sadness comes up right? Allowance is, oh, well, this is an interesting energy. Huh. And then just being present with that energy. Resisting it is, oh, I don't want to be sad. 
sad makes me do this and I don't want to be this energy and I don't want to be sad and I should really be something different right now and I don't want this no oh my god push that energy away I don't want this it's it's not going to work for me this is terrible oh no oh no oh no <laughs> um reaction is kind of a bit of a similar energy like with resistance we're trying to push something away rather than just being present with it reacting to it is that no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be this. This isn't going to work for me. Oh no, there's this energy again. I can't take it. This is horrible. Oh no, 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 no. Right? Resistance and reaction. Um, agreeing is, yes, I'm sad. I'm really sad. My life is pathetic. I'm not ever going to create anything. I'm not going to ever find the relationship that I want. I'm not ever going to create anything again in my life. Everything sucks. I'm so sad. I'm so pathetic. So then you've agreed with that. All of those, resistance, reaction, and agreement, lock that energy in, right? When you're not in allowance, the energies come at you and then they stick to you. And then you are swept away with the energies rather than being that presence that you can be, that greatness that you can be, where you can just look at something and be like, oh, well, that's interesting. Huh, well, that was, that was an interesting energy that just came up. That was an interesting situation that just came up. Interesting point of view. Now, one of the ways that you can use this tool is with every single thought, feeling, or emotion, with every single energy that you become aware of, with every single situation, with everything that sort of comes at you. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. Interesting point of view, they have that point of view interesting point of view that I chose that. Well, that was an interesting choice. Now I'm making it sound all like, oh, let's, yes, let's do this. You know, sometimes energies can be quite intense and quite interesting. If someone is delivering a, a judgment at you, a very harsh judgment at you, um, it's, it, it, it can be a little like, ah, so this tool, please, the, the, all of these tools are things to practice, right? And to hone in on and to keep using over and over again. So someone delivers a, a, a judgment at you and you're like, oh my God, that's terrible. Oh no. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Okay. I have a different choice available right now. What other choice is available to me right now? What if I was being interesting point of view in this moment, right? Choice in every single 10 seconds. Maybe for 10 seconds, you allowed yourself to get a little bit swept away. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. If you can catch yourself and make a different choice, you can shift and change the energy. Um, interesting point of view. <laughs> that is absolutely one of my favorite things, one of my favorite tools. If you can be interesting point of view about everything, you can stay present with you and who you truly are. Nothing is going to sweep you away. Nothing is going to knock you off your feet. You can be that greatness that you truly be in every single moment, no matter what is going on. How does it get better than that? Now, my third most favorite tool <laughs> to share with you about choosing the greatness of you is to have fun. Go out and enjoy your life and have fun. Go do fun things with your friends. Go do fun things by yourself. Go and enjoy the, the magic that is available to us on this planet. Go um, to the park. Go to the beach. Go to the mountains. Go painting. I, the other day I went with um, a few friends of mine. Uh, it, was, it was her birthday and she wanted to go to a, a, an event where you go and you, you're at a bar and you learn how to paint. And now mind you, I have never painted anything in my entire life ever, ever, ever. Um, but I was like, all right, why not? I've never done this. What else is possible? How does it get better than this? And um, 
it was so fun. And the, the teacher that was showing us, right, we literally started with a blank canvas. And I'm telling you guys, I have never painted anything ever. We had this blank canvas and she showed us step by step what to do, how to, how to you know, do, do the swirlies with the paintbrush and draw a circle here and measure the distance with your hands. And she literally took us step by step. Um, I, I'm going to have to show you this, this painting at some point somehow <laughs> because it was magnificent. It actually, I think I have it in the corner over here. You want to see it? Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. There's my painting. Look at it. I've never painted anything ever in my life. And that is a sunset wine glass. I hope you can see it. All right. Um, but I, that literally stick figures is what I have been used to painting. And it was an adventure and it was fun and we laughed. And, you know, I did have a drink or two. So eventually my lines, <laughs> my, my supposedly very thin, you know, outlines became these sort of wobbly. And every time I try to fix it, it just got wider and, and more wobbly. And it, it was, it was just funny and fun. So go out there and try something new. Do something that you've never done before. Allow yourself to create a grand and glorious adventure. Now, why is this a tool? There is an energy that becomes available when you allow yourself to enjoy yourself, to laugh whether it's alone or with a group of people or whether it's going to a movie and watching something funny, there is an energy that opens up, right? This life, oh my gosh, this life is an adventure. And we really, really should not take ourselves so seriously. <laughs> Seriousness is like the killer of creativity and joy and laughter. And if you can go out there and laugh at yourself and enjoy yourself, it is such a healing energy. And when you allow that energy to permeate throughout you and your body, to permeate throughout everyone around you, it heals. It heals. It heals your body. It heals you. It heals the earth. So really go out there and have fun. What grand and glorious adventure can you create on this magnificent planet. Go out there and I love I love that saying dance like no one is watching. You know, go take yourself dancing and just be the crazy one on the dance floor. You know, I'm one of those people you know, I, I sometimes take Zumba classes. I haven't so much li lately just because I've been really enjoying um, my pole dancing classes, but when I go to Zumba, I'm like the crazy girl in the front that's just kind of like doing her own thing. And, and I usually am going the wrong way because, you know, when people explain things verbally, it doesn't always translate energetically for me. And so, you know, they'll say left, but I'll go right. Or they'll say, you know, use your left hand and I'm using my right hand. But you know what? I laugh at myself so hard. People look at me like, this girl is crazy. But yes, I'm usually going the wrong way. There have been times where I've like turned around and I'm literally facing the wrong direction. And I just crack myself up. It makes me happy. It makes my body happy. Inevitably, the Zumba teacher always comes up to me, to me and says, thank you so much for that energy and that joy and that laughter. It really created so much for the class. So please, go out in the world. Don't take yourself so seriously. Have a little bit of fun. Laugh at yourself. Laugh at your mistakes. I got to tell you, I am um, right before this show, I, I have a trip scheduled tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to Salt Lake City, Utah to do an event. And I booked my ticket like weeks ago and I kind of didn't really, you know, pay attention. Honestly, I didn't really think about it. And I get the, the email today like, oh, um, you can check in today, Nellie. And I was like, Nellie, my name is Patty. So it turns out that I have booked a plane ticket in my sister's name. And I just started laughing at myself. I was like, oh my gosh, 10 seconds of unconsciousness, right? So now I have to get on the phone and, and 
see if I can change my ticket or if I'm going to have to buy a whole new one or I don't know what else is possible here that I haven't even imagined. Like if I allowed myself to truly be the greatness of me and the magic and the miracle and the maestro of possibilities that I truly be, I can totally shift, change and outcreate this with total ease. And that I know for sure. Now I could have chosen to have gotten totally freaked out, to be like, oh my God, how could I have been so stupid? That was so horrible. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to go on my trip. This is horrible, this is terrible. Oh my gosh, I could have gone into that trauma drama. That is absolutely a choice. And if that is a choice that you would like to make, then have fun with it and do it well. But I'm gonna choose to be the greatness that I truly be and the magic that I be and I'm going to change this with total ease and out create it. And hey, I wonder what else, what else is asking to be created here with this? You know, who knows? I mean, what's the gift in this, right? <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for being here and for watching and for listening. I'm so grateful that you have chosen to join me today. If you're watching this sometime in the future and you would love to come and play with me live, I would love to have you. You can register at consciousness.sexy. Um, if you have any questions, you can put them in the chat. If not, I'm going to go ahead and sign off because I've got some phone calls to make. <laughs> How does it get any better than that? Again, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you somewhere around the globe. Bye, everyone.